Oh. Hi. Um, it's about time you came to see me. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> yes. Did the others not tell you? I suppose that's why you left me hanging for so long. <clears throat> anyway, I wanted to formally thank you for all of your help with everything. Um, I'm not sure how to put this. I, I rehearsed my head a bunch of times, and now that you're here, I'm still... Very, very nervous. The day you found me in Dim Hollow, I thought for sure that you'd take me to the... the Dawn Guard. You had no idea how scared I was, but I was forced to trust you. And you know what they say. Um, sometimes life requires risks like that. And all that good stuff. And, you know, I thought for sure that you'd get yourself killed traveling with me. And then I learned that you were the long-awaited dragonborn. I had only heard about them when I was younger, and when we made it back to Volkahar, I did a bit of uh, digging in my mother's library, and I thought, Wow. He really can absorb the souls of dragons, can't he? And for once in my life, I felt safe. I don't like to admit things like that, of course. <laughs> my father is the biggest reason why I keep to myself and opening up about what I feel safe about or what I'm not feeling safe about. Is always a bad idea. But you really changed my perspective of um, socializing. You asked me a lot of questions when we first met, but eventually, when I figured you out, when I figured out that you weren't like a threat to me. I just went ahead and talked, I guess. A anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry for holding you up with the useless chatter. I uh, should probably get to the real reason why I called you here. <sighs> Damn. I think I really like being with you. I... I know it's not like me to say something like this, but I've only known a life of suffering before I was locked away. And after, when you let me out, you really made me appreciate life. If it weren't for you, I would have never been able to take my life back. And who knows how long I would have stayed in there. Or who else would have found me. Or what they would have done to me. I understand that as the dragonborn, you need to keep moving, but I still wanted to ask you. If you could stay with me. I know it's a lot to ask, but we've been through so much. I've been your companion for so long, and I can't imagine myself with anyone else. If you understand what I mean. And 
I don't just mean until the end of your life. As vampires live for a very long time, so... You'll stay with me. You'll stay with me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Listen, you have no idea how happy this makes me to hear. But I don't think you're understanding what I'm trying to say. I'm asking you to join me in eternal life. I... I'm in love with you. I've been in love with you. <laughs> ah, if only you could see the look on your face right now. Um, does that mean you'll accept my offer? <laughs> you don't have to say yes just because it's me. It's not like picking out a new outfit. You'll be a creature of the night, just like me. <sighs> wow. This is so unreal. Alright. Hold still. It's going to be a little pressure and a sting. If you move too much, I'll, I could kill you. So please, just do what I say. The bacteria in my fangs will be what turns you. So don't fight the feeling. Just give it in. You might feel a little sick afterwards, but don't worry. I'll take very good care of you. Okay, my love? 